a blessed day to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us day after day after day to listen to the thought for the day as we bring the living word of God into your homes so you can be encouraged. And even by sharing the thought for the day with others, you are bringing encouragement to others. Thank you for being blessed and thank you for being a blessing to so many as well. I want to invite you today to join with me in an adventure in exploring the world's most famous prayer. And that prayer is none other than the Lord's Prayer, where from childhood to adulthood, people are reciting this prayer and people have learned this prayer. And today we have many amazing, wonderful songs, uplifting songs, worship songs that are written based upon this prayer that is found in the gospel according to Matthew chapter 6 and also gospel according to Luke chapter 11. And so in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, Jesus says these words in teaching the disciples how they should pray. Now remember, in the verses before, he had taught them how they should not pray. And how do you pray prayers that God does not respond to and God is not receptive to? But now he shifts the gears and he's teaching them how to pray in a way that God takes pleasure and delight and he responds to your prayers and he's receptive to your prayers. In Matthew 6 verse 9, Jesus said these words, In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. See, Jesus teaches a very revolutionary concept of prayer that can even change our prayer life. And you know, we are all joining in a time of prayer, what we call the 6126 prayer initiative, the prayer call, where for five minutes a day, we take time to pray at 6 a.m. and at 12 noon and at 6 p.m., five minutes each of these times, we take time to pray for the different needs of the global pandemic of the COVID-19 that is out there. And I want you to know that when we learn to approach prayer in the way Jesus is teaching us that our prayer life is going to be revolutionary. Our prayer life is going to really change. It's going to be something that we enjoy and we are excited and we look forward to. And the thought and the lesson Jesus really trying to teach us about prayer is this, that prayer is to be approached relationally and not religiously. Prayer is to be approached relationally and not religiously. When Jesus told, this is how you should pray, he said, our father. See, he's referring to God as Father. In other words, he's revealing to us and inviting us to have a father-child relationship with the God of all creation. Can you believe it? That the God who created the entire universe, who created the billions of galaxies and, and placed the stars in its place and named them by name, is a God who wants you and me to have a relationship with him. He's a God who is up close and personal. You know, he wants to have an intimate personal relationship with us. And even though we are living in times of great darkness and doubt, and of times of great fear and uncertainty of even what the future holds, not only in the nation and the world, but in our own lives. I want us to know that we have a God who is not just God, but a God who is our Father. And as children, we can run to Him at any given time. Do you recall a time when you were scared as a kid in your childhood, and then you ran to your Father to find comfort, to find strength, and to find encouragement? Well, I want us to know, our Heavenly Father is so much greater and he's, he's good to us and that we can run to Him in this time and we can relate with Him in prayer out of the relationship we have. Now, none of us can refer to God as our Father though. He's the God of, he's the God of all creation. He's the creator of all mankind. But He's only Father to those who have chosen to accept His invitation that is given through Jesus Christ who came to give His life to you and me on the cross of Calvary and He revealed who the Father is to us to bring us back who were away from Him to a relationship with Him is to bring us back to the Father to have a relationship with Him. And if we are not part of the family of God, we cannot claim God as our Father. And today, if you do not know God as your father, where you are, would you invite him and say, Lord, I want to be your child. I'm sorry that I have sinned against you and been away from you. I thank you that you gave your son Jesus to die for me, to bring me back to you. Would you accept me, Lord? And would you make me your child? Because I want you to be my God and my father. Where you are, you will experience the love of the eternal love of the father. And you will see how God is your father and how he will be there for you no matter what. So our prayer is that today, even those of us who know God as our Father, in your fears and uncertainties, would you run to Him? Because prayer is not about religion, it's about relationship. 
God bless you and may you find shelter and hope and comfort and strength in our loving Heavenly Father, the Almighty God. God bless you.